Now our next shift would be a higher finger in a lower position to a lower finger in a higher position. And this is probably the most difficult. So let's do first to third again. I'm going to do C sharp to D. Okay. So the old school way to do this shift would be slide with that fuzz tone up to your new position. C sharp goes all the way in third position. It goes all the way up to E. I can check it with my open E. Okay. And then when I lift my finger, I also change my bow. They move together, totally relaxed. They lift out of the string, but not off of the string. Two comes up, bow changes. Now, you can almost make it seem like, understand? There's still a little noise on that one though. So a newer way or a newer concept of shifting for a lower finger to a, I'm sorry, from a higher finger to a lower finger is this. Okay, imagine your two, we're gonna do the same shift, C sharp to a D on the A string, first position to third position. Imagine your two is a soccer ball and your one is a foot. Now your foot has to move towards the ball before you can kick the ball. And the ball will not move until it is kicked. So the whole hand can start moving before the two moves. This gets the motion started and then at the last second you bump the two out of the way. So you have C sharp down, I'm on a down bow, I bump it, it comes out, and I arrive on the new note and turn my bow at the same time. Now, a common mistake is to go up, stop, and move again. Stop, go again. This is not correct. It has to be one motion. If you wait as long as possible and are very relaxed, you can truly make this shift disappear. It can be seamless. So we had four types of shifts and hopefully I showed you a few ways to practice it. Coordinating it with the bow change is critical. So really watch what I did with my bow change and practice it.